What is up, you guys? Gabs Head Squad. We are putting coilovers on the B5.5 Passat wagon. Get the boy at my ass. <laughs> first things first, you gotta pull these bolts right here out of the top, right here where that plastic tray goes. And that, lo that loosens the top of the strut there. And then you come down here. And you got a bolt that goes right, right, right there. That holds the lower strut part onto the lower control arm. And then you got to take a giant bar and you got to place it right here and up to there. And you got to pry this down in order to take tension off of this strut to pull it out. Demonstrate. Now you see how that takes the tension off there? It kind of loosens this all up down here. Okay, I better help him. Oh, bitch. Yeah. Poppy, L Poppy. Now look at this pry bar. <laughs> wow. Now let's take that top hat off there. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, let's put the tire on. Show there. you guys our uh, trick here. Okay. Okay. Send the real them there, bud. Put your hands on top right here. There you go. No, not next to mine. What the fuck? That's number two. <laughs> there we go. Now we got all our parts. Help so stink. there's the trick for everybody on YouTube that doesn't want springs in their face. Set your tire on top of it. Shabam! Okay. Um, we need to utilize this bump stop, this thingamabobber, and this other thingamabobber, and this thingamabobber, and this bolt. And, yep. <laughs> so this first, you gotta put some double the body on it. Cause it's a tight one. Can you get the other side up higher? The other side? The other side's not turning that far back. Okay, got one in. Do this with friends, guys. <laughs> it's a lot easier. There's two bolts. One of them fell under the battery, so I gotta get that. Coilovers don't come with all these bolts, so make sure that you guys got all your bolts. Ow. <laughs> I think I had it up like a millimeter. So that's that's gonna be perfect right there. One millimeter. FYI guys, if there's really heavy breathing, it's uh, Isaac. He's the film guy today. Smoke about two packs a day. Yep. So. And he's an alcoholic. <laughs> a little sneak peek.
the backs are super easy. So this strut right here, it's just two 13 millimeter bolts up there. So we'll get those. So we got those top bolts right there. Now we gotta come over here. And there is a bolt inside that tube right there. And a bolt on the other side. So you need a size 16 wrench to hold that one and a 16 socket to drill out the other side or ratchet out the other side. So the strut is out. The best way to get the spring out is to put a bar down here and compress this down and you should be able to just pull the spring out. Now we can put the new one in. Rear of the car, you put that right there and then you got this right here with the giant washer that goes on the underside of that and bolts that to the lower control arm or whatever you want to call it. You have to utilize this right here. This will sit right there and sit up there with that. That way it's not squeaking and metal on metal. On the stock strut, you're going to want to unbolt this and take this right here and this bump stop. And that's all you would need off the stock strut. You're gonna take that and you're gonna put it on your new strut. See if I can get this off. That's your new strut. And yeah. Just like that. Now we put it all back together. And there it is. Pretty dirt nasty low. I would say it's pretty, pretty damn good fitment. doesn't rub back here. Um, these coilovers are maxed out right now. Looks way better than it did before. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. It looks pretty damn good. Okay. Peace out, Gap City Squad.